I, I, I need to ask you about the, the president's stuff. So when... The, oh, okay. I, I just want to play the thought that, that sort of started all of this in the public mind about, about the White House thing. Okay. I'm not going to the White House. No, I'm not going to the White House. That's, okay. We're not going to be invited. You're not going to be invited? I doubt it. So that was actually shot a while ago, I understand. It was mm-hmm. just released uh, at that time. It was shot by, by some crew. Did you know that it would cause a kerfuffle? No, I did not know that. Um, and anyone that knows me knows that I use the F word way too much. Um, you, you and, have, you've and, apologized for yeah. cursing in that, not for the statements. Not itself. for the statements, yes. I use it way too, way too much and way too loosely. Um, but no, I didn't realize that. And it was more, obviously, it was uh, at, a, I think, our jersey unveil for the, um, for the new jersey leading into the World Cup. And it was kind of in a, in a passing moment. But I mean, I meant with all the inflection and all of the sort of attitude that it gave with it, um, I meant all of it and, and every word of it. Um, I, so I, now if you, there, I mean, if, as far as we know, as far as I know, there is not an invitation from the president to the White House. He had said later on, well, uh, you know, he'd, he'd, uh, he'd criticized you, um, but said that win or lose that uh, he'd said that you should win before, before you talk and that win or lose, your team would be invited. There hasn't been an invitation publicly yet. Would you, would you go? Would your teammates go? Um, I would not go, and every teammate that I've talked to explicitly about it would not go. Um, everyone that you've talked to. Everyone that I've talked to, yeah. I don't think I don't think anyone on the team has any interest in lending the platform that we've worked so hard to to build and um, the things that we fight for and the the way that we live our life. I don't think that we want that to be co opted or corrupted by this administration. And, and going to the White House would be, in in your opinion risk co-opting or corrupting your, your message? Yeah, I think so. I think it's, it's an opportunity uh, for this administration to sort of put us on display as their, um, you know, sort of guests for the day. And I don't think that that makes sense for, for us at all. Um, I can't imagine any, any one of my teammates would want to be put in that position. Um, there's, there's so many other people um, that I would rather talk to and have, you know, meaningful conversations um, that could really affect change in Washington than going to to the White to the White House. There's a good chance the president is watching this interview or will watch this interview. What what is your message to the president? Oh, message to the president. Um, I think that I would say that your message is excluding people. Um, you're excluding me. You're excluding people that look like me. You're excluding people of color. You're excluding you know Americans that. Um, that maybe support you. Um, I think that we need to have um, a reckoning with um, the message that you have and what you're saying about make America great again. Um, I think that you're harking back to an era that was not great for everyone. It might have been great for a few people and maybe America is great for a few people right now, but it's not great for enough Americans in this world. And I think that we have a responsibility, each and every one of us. You have an incredible responsibility as you know, the chief of this country um, to take care of every single person and you need to do better for everyone. The idea of make America great again, if it means going back to an America from the 40s or 50s, uh, that's an America where you could be imprisoned uh, for being gay, where you could be sent by your family to a, a mental hospital, where you could not walk down the street uh, holding hands with your loved one, or I could not walk down the street or go dancing or, or anything. It's yeah. it's interesting how different people view things through a very personal lens. Um, and, and as you said, maybe don't walk in the shoes of other people who, you know, did not have rights in mm-hmm. a, a past halcyon America. Yeah, it, it was um, not a great place for a lot of people. It was a very oppressive place. Um, and that's not to say that it was the worst place in the world. Um, I think that's a, one of the things that um, a lot of people go to. No one's saying that they want to leave America, but I think as, as one of um, the great countries in the world, and for, for sure we want to see ourselves as that, um, we need to constantly look within and challenge ourselves to be better so everyone else can be better around us. Do you, uh, I know you've been invited by, I think, uh, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I think uh, Nancy Shout Pelosi. Out. Shout out. Shout out AOC. <laughs> so does that mean, is that an invitation you're taking up? Nancy Pelosi has said, you know, you're, uh, you'd be welcome to a bipartisan congressional thing. Um, do you plan on going to Washington in one, capa- one way or another? Yes, definitely. Um, 
And I think even just the conversations with the teammates that I've had, I think everyone is interested in going to Washington. I think we've always been interested in going to Washington. Um, this is such a special moment for us. Um, and to be able to, you know, sort of leverage this movement and talk about the things that we want to talk about and to celebrate like this with um, the leaders of our country is an incredible moment. So yes to AOC, yes to Nancy Pelosi, yes to um, the bipartisan Congress, yes to Chuck Schumer, yes to anyone else that um, wants to invite us and have a real substantive conversation um, and that believe in the same things that we believe in. Uh, by the way, before you came out, I know you probably didn't hear Bernie Sanders uh, said that you should get equal pay and uh, wanted me particularly to say hello to you. Uh, just very quickly, a couple things. And again, if this is too personal, um, you have, uh, you, you, you tweeted, your, your brother tweeted you, you tweeted your brother. He was, uh, my understanding is he's the, the person who got you into stock soccer when you were a little kid, that you really yeah. look up to him. He's, he's obviously, and it's been public, he's, he's had uh, troubles. He, he's uh, been in, uh, in and out of prisons and, and problems with, uh, with, with drugs. Um, he was saying how you are his hero, that you always looked up to him and now he looks up to you uh, and that the, your protest uh, helped him and sort of empowered him. Yeah, you can make me emotional. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he definitely is someone um, that is very special to me. And, you know, I've just seen firsthand um, you know, how the sort of prison system has, you know, ruined his life in a lot of ways, at least ruined the first, you know, 38 or, uh, is he 39 now? 38, 39 years of, of his life. Um, so to be able to share this moment uh, with him and have him be out and doing well um, is just, yeah, it, it, it sort of means the world to me. And we've had um, a lot of conversations since he's been out, um, our relationship. We've always been close. Um, it's been sort of up and down over the years. Um, but I think he, he sort of had a, a kind of come to Jesus moment about his life. Like, what is he doing this, these allegiances or alliances he had in prison? What does that, what does that mean? What kind of life is he living? What kind of, you know, legacy does he want to leave as a person or what kind of impact does he want to have as a person? And I just feel like probably, you know, seeing me and having all these other people come up to him, um, and say the things that they were maybe good and bad in prison. Um, I think it just brought this new perspective to his life of like, I don't care if I'm, you know, nobody, I still have a life. I can have an impact. Um, and I can be better. And right now, like my life is just, I'm not, I'm not doing anything good with it. And that's just not someone that I want to be. Just a final question. I'm not going to ask you how long you're going to play soccer for, because <laughs> uh, I don't want to be ageist. And I think you're such a badass. You could play for as long as you want, as far as I can tell. Um, but I was reading, and I know nothing about sports, by the way, but I was re I read a lot about it to try to understand. I didn't, you know, say that you made a home run or anything. Uh, I basically was, did, though. <laughs> you, you, I basically did. I basically hit it out of the park. Pretty much. <laughs> she hit a home run. She hit a grand slam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, just, you can just drop, drop yeah. the mic right now and just walk off if you want. Um, it, I, I understand that there's never been a World Cup team that won uh, and then went to the Olympics in back-to-back -back, uh, years mm -hmm. uh, and won. Uh, are you aiming for 2020 Olympics? Yes, definitely. 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 And it's in Japan. It's going to be incredible. I love everything about Japanese yeah. culture. Um, I think it's going to be an amazing Olympics. Um, hopefully, I'm lucky enough to to be a part of it. Obviously, our last performance at the Olympics was— But you have your eyes on that. Yes, for sure. 